Imagine carrying a genetic mutation that affects up to 7% of the population, yet remains largely unknown. This is the reality of Gilbert syndrome. This unassuming syndrome is far more common than you might think, and yet it flies under the radar of most people's awareness. Gilbert syndrome is an inherited liver disorder passed down through families and it's all down to a tiny but significant mutation in a gene. This mutation affects the processing of a substance known as bilirubin, leading to a condition we commonly recognize as jaundice. While this may sound alarming, it's important to note that Gilbert syndrome is generally a mild condition. But what does it really mean to have this syndrome? How does it impact a person's life and health? And why is it that so many of us haven't even heard of a disorder that affects such a large percentage of the population? So, what exactly does Gilbert's syndrome do to your body? Let's delve into the science behind it. Gilbert's syndrome is not a disease, but a genetic trait that affects how your liver processes a substance called bilirubin. Now you might be wondering, what is bilirubin? Well, it's a yellowish substance that your body produces when it breaks down old red blood cells. It's the liver's job to process bilirubin so it can be excreted from the body. But in the case of Gilbert's syndrome, a mutation in a certain gene interferes with this process. This hiccup in the liver's operation can cause a buildup of bilirubin in the blood, leading to a condition called jaundice. You've probably heard of jaundice. It's what gives the skin and whites of the eyes a yellowish tint. But here's the good news. Gilbert syndrome is generally a mild condition. It doesn't damage the liver or lead to serious health issues. In fact, most people with Gilbert syndrome lead completely normal, healthy lives without any need for treatment. While it may sound daunting, the effects of Gilbert syndrome are typically mild. But how do you know if you have it? Gilbert syndrome is often discovered by chance during blood tests. Now you might wonder what these tests look for. Well, they're primarily checking for elevated levels of a substance called bilirubin. This is a yellow compound that your body produces when it breaks down red blood cells. In most people, the liver filters out bilirubin, but in those with Gilbert syndrome, this process is a little less efficient, leading to an excess of bilirubin in the blood. The symptoms of Gilbert syndrome are usually mild and often people don't even realize they have it. The most common sign is a yellowing of the skin and eyes, a condition known as jaundice. However, it's important to note that this isn't harmful or contagious. It's just a visual signal that the body's bilirubin processing isn't quite up to par. In fact, many people with Gilbert syndrome lead completely normal, healthy lives with the condition requiring no specific treatment. Interestingly, Gilbert syndrome seems to favor one sex more than the other. Can you guess which one? Gilbert syndrome shows a marked preference for males. This peculiar genetic quirk has a notable gender bias. The ratio of males to females with Gilbert syndrome is skewed with more males being affected than females. This imbalance is a fascinating aspect of the syndrome, hinting at the complex interplay of genes and hormones in our bodies. The overall incidence rate of Gilbert syndrome is also worth mentioning. It's estimated that between 3 to 7% of Americans have this condition. That's a significant proportion of the population, making Gilbert syndrome one of the more common genetic disorders. But let's also talk about survival. Often, when we hear the word syndrome, we might think of something severe or life-threatening. But with Gilbert syndrome, this is not the case. Individuals with this condition can and do lead normal, healthy lives. It's a mild condition that primarily affects the liver's processing of bilirubin, leading to occasional bouts of jaundice. So, while Gilbert syndrome may sound intimidating, remember that it is a mild condition that doesn't affect your lifespan or quality of life. Knowledge is power, and understanding our bodies helps us live healthier, happier lives. Like, share, comment, and subscribe.